How's it doing, guys and gals? This is Elder Wolf coming back at you. And Exile Con just passed this weekend, so we're gonna go ahead and discuss what's going on with PoE 2. So, PoE 2 is now its own game. It is no longer gonna be in combination with PoE 1, which allowed them to add six more base classes. So now we have two for each stat slash stat combination. And so let's talk about that. So now that there's 12 base classes, there's the Witch and the Sorceress for Intelligence. For Dexterity Int, there's the Shadow and the Monk. For Dexterity itself, it's Ranger and Huntress. For Dexterity and Strength, it's Duelist and Mercenary. For Strength, it's Marauder and Warrior. And for Strength Int, it's Templar and Druid. There's going to be three Ascendancies per class, so that's 36 Ascendancies, which is crazy. There's going to be 1,500 passive skill points, which eh, breaks down to about 250 per stat combination. And there's going to be 240 active skills. So by active skills, my understanding is these are skills that are used, not support jams, not anything like that. These are literally active skills, which is awesome, which means there's 40 per stat combination or 20 per character class. There's going to be 600 monsters. 600 unique monsters which is really cool since there's going to be 100 bosses which you know one one boss per area uh, these bosses are going to drop a consumable item and they will have different buffs that are granted to your character and they are permanent buffs um there's gonna be 700 pieces uh, or 700 equipment types now if we break that down by slot that's roughly rounded up to 78 per slot um, and from my understanding, there's going to be uniques for every single base type. As far as skill gems go, the way they're going to work now is when they drop, they're no longer going to drop as skill gems themselves. They will drop as uncut gems. And when you right click it, you will get to choose the skill that you want to use. Now, from my understanding, of course, just like every, uh, just like any other game, certain skills have specific level requirements. So depending on where the uncut gem drops, it'll only have access to certain skills for your class. Uh, the other thing to take into consideration are meta gems, which uh, are cast on or also known as trigger gems, and so. These are going to be really cool because, you know, it can be like cast on, uh, cast on shock, cast on uh, crit, so forth and so on. And, and you'll be able to use these to, to, you know, automate spells and all sorts of stuff. And that takes me into the dual specking system. So now your weapon swap is not just a weapon swap. Your weapon swap is actually, uh, you can actually switch into a completely different build, a completely different element. Uh, if you're like a warrior, you can go from using a you know two-handed mace or two-handed uh, axe to using a sword, and this opens up different abilities. You know, this is going to give you access to different things because the skills are now connected to those weapon-based types. Um, but the way it works now is so, of course, like I said, you can swap back and forth. Uh, you can set skills to swap to. A certain uh, a certain weapon set so weapon set one or weapon set two uh, to make them you know even better so if say let's say as a sorceress you're you're rocking thunder and you're rocking um, cold and so you have one staff or wand that is specific to that type of element and the other one for the other and so when you swap it will grant you those buffs so let's say you have plus one to ice on one and plus one to lightning on the other and you want that extra plus every time you're you're casting that spell so you'll literally swap weapons every time uh, the other cool thing is throughout the game there's going to be skill books these skill books are going to give you uh s skills for your weapon specifically in your uh, in your passive tree and so these can be used to dual spec so you can literally spec into like we were just talking about ice and lightning and when you swap weapons it will swap your passive points so that way you get the benefit of you know all the ice nodes or all the lightning nodes or all the fire nodes or all the you know the the axe nodes or etc which is really cool i think that's super awesome 
another thing that they added in, which is you know something that they were only able to add in, like I said, as far as the six the the six extra base classes, they also were able to bring in a new resource system, uh, called Spirit, which is going to be used for auras and heralds and permanent minions and trigger gems. Every character is going to start out with a hundred Spirit, uh, and from there you can gain more through the passive tree and items. And specifically, the, the item that will increase spirit the most is going to be scepters. Now, my understanding is you're going to be able to rock a scepter and pretty much anything else. Um, you know, rock a scepter and, and a type of weapon if you want or so forth and so on. And it's it's going to be useful in that area. And of course, scepters are going to be very useful for summoners of any kind. Now, of course, the, you know, we're going to have the witch who can be, you know, necro, quote unquote. Or we can even rock um, the druid, whom I I've noticed is going to have, you know, summons, you know, wolves and so forth and so on, which is really cool. Another cool thing. So caster weapons previously, you know, the, the base stats of like damage and stuff like that, they, they all they didn't do anything specific for casters. So now caster weapons are going to come with a spell that you can cast for free. And I think that's very, very cool. And of course, the spell is based off of the eye level and so forth and so on. I think this is a great system. Um, and all of these systems were improvements over the previous iteration. Um, not to mention, like, especially the dual specking system. That is by far one of the systems that I've looked forward to the most and swapping weapons to do different things. It just, it makes so much sense, you know. In Path of Exile 2, gold is going to be a thing, primarily used for vendors, and we'll be able to use it to gamble. We're looking at a June 7th release for the beta. With that said, guys and gals, this is Elder Bo saying over and out. Don't forget to hit that like, that favorite, leave a comment, and subscribe.